Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a library file in OpenSCAD. OpenSCAD uses regular SCAD files as libraries. They just need to have a module in them. So, but we'll start out with is where you can find your libraries. Now, if you go over to the wiki books for OpenSCAD, and let's do that right now, you'll see that they in the in the book they have a library entry and it shows you in great detail how to configure and where to put library files for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Um, there's multiple locations where library files can end up, but we're just going to be covering in Linux uh, where they are in your home directory. So the library we're going to be using for this file is found in the list of libraries on the same on this same page, and you'll see I got it from here. It's from Stephanie Schultes. And it's on, over on GitHub, so we're going to go to that tab here. And the way we can get to that is by clicking on the raw tab. And I just copied that link. I just copy this link. And then I'm going to use and I'm going to w get that into the libraries directory. So an easy way to get to the library directory is from the OpenSCAD file menu. You can click show library folder. And this will take you to a known connected library folder. In, in, in this case, it's in my home directory on Linux. And you can see it's a folder called libraries. So if I right click this and open this in the terminal, it'll take me to a terminal um, already on this directory. Now you can just simply copy file, SCAD files directly in here, but I'm just gonna use wget to get this from, from this source there. So I already have the command here. So I'm just gonna copy this over to my terminal and click paste. Now I already have this, so it's just gonna copy it over top of it or, or next to it with a dot two. So now that we have that, we can use this in our in our open SCAD program. So to use the modules in the fillets, we simply just do use fillets. So I'm gonna copy this. And then I'll use one of the module calls, which is a 2D fillet, and I'm just gonna copy this in. And one of the things you'll notice is you don't have to have a semicolon after that. I don't know if it's good to have it or not. So let's take a quick look at the Phillips SCAD file so we can see a little bit of what's happening. I recently opened that, so I'll go in here and open it again. And what you can see is, let me adjust things a little bit, make our font a little bit bigger, is basically we just have mod modules here. So we have a module for 2D, which is the one I called, a 2D in inner fillet. And you can see there's uh, modules for polar, polar, polar outer, polar inner. So all of these are things that you can call once, you, once you've declared the use. The next step we're gonna cover is how to create your own library. An open SCAD library really is just a SCAD uh, file that has module calls into it. And for our example, we'll be using a file that I created in a previous video called ObjectArrays.scad. So you'll see that this, let's make it bigger. This is basically a, a regular SCAD. It has some mainline calls and then it has a bunch of modules, linear array, rectangular array. The mainline calls just demonstrate these modules. Now you really wouldn't want that to show up in a library. And we're gonna use that to understand the difference between include and use later on. But for now, we're just gonna save this as a library. So one thing we need is the library, the library directory. So I'm just gonna copy that from here and then close that. And then we're gonna do file save as, and we'll save that right to the library directory. And that's all you need to do to turn something into a module. This will now be available to other programs.